Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of an extra. Um, I've had a lot of requests when I do my home fragrance empties or when I talk about candles to do designated reviews of a lot of the candles that I use and enjoy. Um, this one I actually hauled in my Sephora haul, which I will link down below so you can see. And I normally will kind of touch base on what I hauled in my videos in a follow-up video um, basically going over everything I hauled and whether I liked it or not, etc. But because this is a candle and not your typical beauty style product, I decided to do this as its own review. Um, there's been a lot of questions about this candle brand and what I think about it. So here we go. Um, so this is by the brand Voluspa. And this is kind of like a I don't want to call it luxury, but it's definitely more of a higher end style brand than like you, you know, find at Bath and Body Works or Target, things like that. So you can find these candles on the Voluspa website as well as on Sephora. I actually, like I said, purchased mine from Sephora. Um, this is a 16 ounce candle. It is a coconut wax, so it has a much softer wax than your typical paraffin. Um, and the scent that I picked out was Copper Clove. Now it says on the packaging that the notes in it are clove spice, amber, and autumn squash. Now, <laughs> I will say to start with, I, I don't get any of that. Um, this candle in my best scent description would be an apple scent. I smell a very authentic apple, almost like a cider, but there's not a super heavy spice note in it. Um, there's a little hint of maybe some of the mulling spices, but I mean, there is no cinnamon that I pick up on. There is absolutely no clove that I pick up on. There's no muskiness to it. It's just like a traditional true apple with maybe just a hint, hint, of um spice and maybe a touch of like orange or something in it it's a beautiful scent um as far as the notes go now as you can see with it burning um the jar is stunning and i did show this on cold when it obviously wasn't lit in my haul video where you could really see the details on the jar it's really difficult to see right now because it is lit and it is nighttime right now which i don't usually film at night but here i am um, but the jar itself has this beautiful floral kind of texture in the glass it's actually etched in the glass which i love love and the cap on this is metallic and as you can see it's also etched as well this packaging you guys is just oh it's almost worth the candle just to have the packaging <laughs> it's so so beautiful and i will absolutely repurpose this when i'm done now as far as strength and throw go this is where i get a lot of questions I will say that this is nowhere near as strong as like a Bath and Body Works candle. So this is not going to smack you in the face when you light it. You're not gonna get this to throw all over your home um, unless you live in a very, very tiny home. Um, I would say that out of all the Voluspas that I have heard reviewed by multiple people that I follow on YouTube as well as my friends, um, I feel like this one is one of the ones that perform the best. I have heard in the past that there are a couple other ones that don't quite have the strength and throw that I'm experiencing with this one. Now, that's not to say that this one has an incredible strength. Like I said, you're not going to smell this throughout your house. I still agree that this is probably going to be more of a one room candle. Um, I do have this sitting on a Bath and Body Works uh, like seashell glass candle holder in my beauty studio, which is not an overly large room. It fills this room up really nicely. I can definitely smell it as soon as I walk in. And I do get hints of it as I walk down my hallway as well. But this is, like I said, not a candle that's going to throw throughout your entire downstairs or anything like that. I feel like the scent of this, plus the fact that it is probably like, I'd say a maybe a five to a six in strength and maybe about the same in throw. This would make a really beautiful bedroom candle. Although it is an apple type scent, it is not a gourmand. It is not really a food type scent. The apple is just very crisp and clean and fresh and it almost feels like it's 
like cleansing the air, if that makes sense. So when you smell this, it just smells like the room is so fresh and like a breeze blew through in the autumn. It's beautiful. It really is an absolutely beautiful scent. I have also heard, as far as performance goes, that the wax pools on these candles take a long time to pool out. Now, I will say I don't have that issue right now. Um, I have burned this candle probably down to right about here, where you can kind of see the difference in the light coming through the jar. So my candle is probably sitting at about here. So um, upon the first burn, first two burns, it did take a while to pool out. But once I got to probably like a third of the way down in the candle, it started to pool out rather quickly. In fact, today when I lit this, I would say it had a full, you know, complete circumferential wax pool in about 45 minutes, maybe even a half hour. So it really did pull out quickly. These are single wick candles, but I don't find that they tend to tunnel or anything like that. So, so far I'm having really good luck with the burn on this. I'm having really good luck with the throw and the strength on it. Now these candles retail for $26. Like I said, you can get them at Sephora or Voluspa. This is a seasonal scent. So I don't know if they're gonna make this permanent or if you can get it year round, but I do know that uh, it is still available right now last I checked and um I don't know you guys I just feel like if I'm gonna spend almost $30 on a candle I'm likely gonna be purchasing something from Homeworks because I just really really enjoy having a super strong candle now that's not to say that you guys should not pick this up if it's something you think that you would enjoy or if you're like me and just get suckered into the beautiful beautiful packaging because that alone makes this candle so unique but I do really enjoy it. I am definitely going to use it up. I have no interest in returning it. And like I said, I will be reusing the packaging on it. It is really quite special to look at. It's definitely an ambiance type of piece, as you can see by the way that the light is just coming through and casting all these beautiful dancing shadows. I'm gonna see if I can actually show you what it looks like on the wall here. Hold on one second. So if you, can you kind of see the dancing it's doing? It's casting such a beautiful, just, uh, this light all around it, it's quite lovely actually, um, ambiance wise. So like I said, the candle itself is beautiful. The scent is beautiful. Is it the strongest thing in the world? No. Do I think that it's worth $28? Uh, no, but it's definitely something to splurge on if you feel like it would be up your alley. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see me do more of these designated candle reviews. Also, let me know down below in the comments if you guys have tried Voluspa and what you think of your uh, candles, if they've performed, what scents you guys picked up. I'm really interested to hear more about the brand. And I hope you guys will subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.